Hey guys, today this video is going to show you how to make this kimono. This dress is Japanese traditional dress, and today we're going to make this one. For this project, we're going to set our room as a little bit here and keep your red arrows point away from you. First, we're going to make the city on both sides. Because they're slightly different, so I'm going to show you how to make it on both sides. First, we're going to use two red bands. Start from first to second on your left. Next one, I'm going to use one red and one. This is greater blue. This is optional. If you don't have it, you can just use red. The blue part, you will represent the print on the dress. So if you don't have it, that's fine. You can just use different color. And the same is greater orange. This is just for decorations. I'm going to use one red and one orange. Take two red. Start from first to second on your right. And two. Next one, one red and one blue. Two red. And for this decoration pen, you can just randomly press in anywhere on the dress. Now we're going to take two. One red and one orange. Going from center to your left. Now over here, we're going to add a little add on so this part will look a little bit bigger. For that part, I'm going to use one single band, twist only one time. So you'll see two rings here. Take one more band. Put both ends on your hook. Do it one more time. And press this part right here. And pull this part. Press right here. And skip one in between. And dip this part on the side. Now we're going to press horizontal band. Take one single band. Make an upside down triangle. And this is one of the steps on the side. Now I'm going to make another side. So we're going to continue on here. Take two red, one red and one blue. Two red, place right here, one red and one orange. Two red, two red. Do one more time. Now we're going to take two red, going from left to the center. Take one red and one orange. From center to your right. And the same right here, we're going to add a little add on here on the side. So I'm going to take one single band, twist only one time. Take another band. Do it one more time. Press right here. Now we're going to pull this. Press right here. Skip one on the center. Take one single band. Press right here. Make an upside down triangle. Next, we're going to take one single band. Twist two times. So you'll see three rings here. I'm going to press right here as cap pin. And on the other side, we're going to make another cap pin. Press right here. Take one single pin. Twist. One, two. So you'll see three rings here. Press right here. Now your room should look like this. Okay, now we can rotate our room and start looping. 
gonna start it from here, reach under the cap band, reach under the cap band, and these two bands. And look for these two, grab it, and hook it to the center. This two band is original from here, so we're gonna put it back here. Next, we're gonna look for these two. Grab it, hook it to your right. The same, these two bands from here, so we're gonna bring it back here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. The same. Now we're gonna come back here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. 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 Now when we're done on this side, we're gonna continue on looping this side. The same, we're gonna look for these two pen first. Make sure you grab the right band. Should be one red and one orange. And hook it back to the center. Make sure you grab the two bands that are original from here. Next, look for these two bands. Grab it. Hook it to the next one. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. And we'll finish up here. Now we're going to come back here. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Bottom two. Hook it to the next one. If you see a tension like this, you can release the tension a little bit. Grab the bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Bottom two. Hook it to the next one. Now after we're done, we're going to take your hook, bring it out, collect all three. This is a loose end, so be careful. Make sure you have all of them. This is one side of the stick. Now after we take it out, we're going to take one single band and bring this whole thing through here. Now we're going to tie a knot for now and put it aside so we can use it later. And the same, we're going to take off this part. We're going to collect all three loose ends. And take one single band, bring it through. and tie a little knot here. Now we're done both sides. Now we're going to start making the body part. We're going to come back here, the same. Keep your red arrows point away from you. We're going to start with one red and one orange. Press right here, first to second on your left. One red and one orange. One more time, one red and one orange. Two red. And two red. Now we're going to come back here on the center. Take two red. From first to second on the center. One red and one orange. One red and one blue. One red and one orange. Two red. Two red. One red and one blue. Two red. And two red. Two more. This is the bottom part of the dress here. Next, we're going to use white. So we're going to take two white 
Continue on here on your left. Two more. And repeat this step. Do it on the center and on your right. Take two white. Do it two times. Two more white. Now we're going to continue on here on the top part of the trace. Two red. Continue on here on your left. Two more red. Two red. On your left to the center. Take one red and one orange. One red and one blue. Two red. One red and one orange. One red and one blue. Two red. Now we're gonna place a cap band right here. Take one single red, twist, one, two. So you'll see three rings here. Place right here, let's cap them. Now on the top part here, I'm gonna press one orange glitter right here. So you will have a little decoration right here. So I'm gonna take one orange, place from here to here. And do the same thing on the center here to your right. Now we're gonna press horizontal band. Take one single red. Make an upside down triangle. Next, I'm gonna use greater orange. Make an upside down triangle. Take one white. Upside down triangle. Another white. Upside down triangle. Next one. Orange greater. For this part, you can use red if you don't have greater. The reason why I use it because it will be shiny on the side, so you will look nicer. Make another upside down triangle. And the last one, I'm gonna use red. So take one single red. It's right here. Now we're gonna come back here and press this part on both sides. For this part, the side that has it on with single pin is gonna be on the bottom. So we're gonna take this. We're gonna release this pin here. Make sure you grab both end and press this. One side right here and the other side on the shoulder. So you will look like this. One end on the shoulder here and the other will end right here. And you have one pin in between. On the shoulder here, I'm going to take the last one from this low. And press right here on the shoulder. That way you will attach better. And dip these two on here. Now I'm going to press the other side. Make sure this part, make sure this side that has it on, on it to you. So the same. I'm going to release this nut. Make sure you have both end. Grab, put one end on the shoulder and the other end right here. I'm gonna press this last one, press right here on the shoulder. And keep the center row and the last row right here on the side. So on the side here, it should look like this. Okay, now we finish press all the bands on here. Your room should look like this. When we're done, we're going to rotate our loom and start looping. Find these two bands first. Should be on the top under the cap band. Grab those two, put it to your left. And 
and come back here the next two should be from the center so find those two bands I only grab one so I'm gonna come back here and look for the other one so these two is from the center so we're gonna put it back to the center the last two should be from the right so grab it and bring it back to your right now we're not gonna loop these two bands these two orange from here to here and here to here these two we're just gonna skip it we're not gonna loop these two so now we can continue on here grab the bottom two hook it to the next one on the center and continue on and loop all the bands to the end here for this part it's just for this part it doesn't matter the order that you loop your band When you're done here, come back here. There are many, many bands in here. So we're going to look for these two. So reach in, grab this bottom two. Bring it up, move it forward. Look at the next one here. Grab the bottom two, look to the next one. Bottom two, look to the next one. Bottom two, we get to the next one. Bottom two, we get to the next one. And continue on, finish this. Okay, when you're done here, come back here. The same. We're gonna look for the bottom two. Should be these two red band. So reach to all the band. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one here. You see a tension? You can run your hook through it so you release the tension here. Grab the bottom two, hook it to the next one. The same, continue to do this until the end of the loom. Okay, when we're done, make sure you loop all the bands. Then we're going to put your hook through here. Take one single rig. Bring it through here. Put both ends on your hook. Take one end through the others. Pull it so you tie a knot here. Do the same thing on the center and on your right. Now we can take it up. Okay, after you first take it out, it looks kind of messy, but that's okay. We can fin we can fix it. And if this part pop out a little bit, we can come here and just bring it down here and you can leave it right here that way it will be kind of shiny it looks good now we're going to hide this secure band we can come over here plug your hook through some of the band close by grab this secure band tuck it underneath do the same thing Now we have finished the dress. We're gonna make a little decoration here, make a little ball right here. For the ball, I'm gonna use three graded orange. We can use your hook to help you to tie the ball. 
raise three bands between two pegs then take one red pull it through underneath these three bands to both end on your hook take one end to the others and pull it now where you will tie a ball here now we're going to take it off I'm only going to use two bands for the ball so I'm going to cut one of them and after you cut it pull one end to the other side like this and move this to this side so you'll be centered okay now we have our ball now this part we can trim it Make it shorter so you won't be too long. Okay, now we have finished our little ball here. Now we're going to tie this on the white part. Take this end, pull it through here. Okay, so now we have our little ball. In front of the dress. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.